What's up guys? So I apologize if I'm a little shaky, but my new scooter just arrived. My Roadrunner RS5 Plus. And I'm pretty excited to show you all. Um, so this thing is a monster. It's a lot bigger than my Apollo Explorer, which I do not like anymore. But I've taken it out of the box and set it up. It was kind of a mess, as you can. There was a lot of broken styrofoam when it came to me, but that's okay. I've already contacted them. So here's the scooter itself. It looks sick, doesn't it? It's actually really, really big. It's almost as tall as I am, and I'm 5'8". But let's just go ahead and show you guys. So it's got a key that you put in and then you push this button here and the LED screen comes on. Now on most scooters it's got a eco mode, a turbo mode and they've got rid of that with a single and du dual motor mode only. It's got a thumb throttle uh, control and then over here you've got the lights which I flip on you can see it there pretty bright light so I probably want you need to use a headlamp and then you got all the lights down here it's pretty badass looking the rear fender I did notice came damaged so um, they look pretty uh, thin for the plastic so I've already contacted Apollo or not Apollo but Roadrunner scooter sorry and they'll replace it for free since it came damaged. I just have to wait for them to contact me back. But uh, it does have turn signals. So if I need to go somewhere and turn, this bad boy has turn signals to let everybody know what way I'm going. It's two, du two dual 1200 watt motors with a 52 uh, volt battery, 28 amp. Uh, so it's, it's pretty badass. Um, I haven't really done anything with it yet besides cleaning all the styrofoam off of it, but that is a sick looking LED screen, if I might say. I'll go left, right, red mode one, dual. Ah, uh, that's how you change the speeds, is pushing the power button, okay. Came half charged. I think I'll be able to easily see at night with this bad boy. Hopefully the cops don't think it's a moped it's so big. And then um, it's also got a horn, which is pretty loud. So um, people will know to get out of my way. But yeah, I'm pretty excited for this thing. Like I said, it's pretty big. It's um, compared to my vacuum. It's taller than my vacuum. It's really heavy duty and really nice solid build um i know i'm not gonna have any wobble any wobble in the steering stem and then down here it comes with a lock which i have yet to open but i'm guessing uh once i do open it you're it'll have access to the battery and you can take that thing out and charge it in your bedroom and leave your scooter outside. So I'll give you guys a front end view. And the headlight is adjustable. So you can tilt it forward and back. You can have it like that. So it's not so bright on people's eyes, I guess. But yeah, this thing I think was worth every penny.